Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to dive into the world of Qt Creator and walk you through the installation process on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. Whether you're a seasoned developer or just starting out, Qt Creator is an excellent tool for creating cross-platform applications with ease. So let's not waste any time and get started. The first step is to open up your terminal. Now that we have our terminal open, let's make sure our package list is up to date. Type in the following command. If there are any packages that need to be upgraded, run this command. With our package list updated, we're ready to install Qt Creator. Type in the following command. Hit enter and let the system download and install Qt Creator and its dependencies. Qt Creator is in the default Ubuntu repository. Once the installation is complete, you can verify it by searching for Qt Creator in your application launcher or by opening it from the command line. While installing applications from the default Ubuntu repository offers convenience and ease of use, there are some potential disadvantages to consider. The versions of software available in the default Ubuntu repositories may not always be the latest ones. This can be problematic if you require specific features or bug fixes that are present in newer releases. So let us now see how you can install Qt Creator by downloading the latest version from the official website. Before we do that, this is how you can remove Qt Creator from your system. First things first, open up your web browser and head over to the official Qt website and download the latest version. Check the article in the video description you need to install the tools and libraries needed for Qt, otherwise you may get some dependency issues. Change the directory to your downloads directory. Run this command to make the file executable. You can now run the installer using this command. At the welcome screen enter your email and password if you already have a Qt account if not create one.
Enter your details to create your account. After creating your account, click Next to continue. Agree to the open source terms and conditions. Select the components that you want to install. Congratulations, the installation of Qt Creator is now complete. That's all for today, folks. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.